What's up, y'all? Pink Queen here. I have heard numerous people speak over the years. Some that I could identify with and some that I could not. I find myself attracted to speakers that can give a message that speaks directly from the Word of God and to my spirit. I have been learning to share how the Word speaks to my spirit. Some people do not care about the Word when it comes from certain people. If it interferes with their definition of what a believer should be, should say, or act, they start judging according to the way they think, not even taking into consideration that the word is interpreted in different ways. The message can come in all types of forms, but if we close ourselves off and go by what we see, we will totally miss it. Every messenger has different styles in how the word they have been given is relayed to their audience. We need to stop believing that something can only be done one way. It is so sad that some cannot receive the word unless it comes from certain sources. Unfortunately, there is a chance they may be blocking their own blessing. The Lord's word will not return void. Isaiah 55, 11 says, In the same way, the promise that I make does not return to me, having accomplished nothing. No, it is realized as I desire and is fulfilled as I intend. Do not expect people to reduce their purpose to fit what others think they should or should not do to please them. I know that I will not put anyone before my God. I am not living my life to please man. I live for Jesus. John 20, 21 says, So Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. Just as the Father has sent me, I also send you. So many people miss their message because they are so busy judging the messenger. How do they know that the Lord is not using that person to relay a message directly to them? We know that the Lord can and does use people for his purpose. We need to stop trying to do Jesus' job and do what God sent us here to do, and that is to love him with all our heart, mind, and soul, and love each other as we love ourselves. Look at the story of David and Goliath. If we were looking at David and judged him by his stature, we would probably say something like, Who does he think he is? He's a child. God used David in a mighty way. We cannot go by what we see, because for one thing, according to the word, we are to walk by faith and not by sight. God can use the least of us and do great things things. I have also noticed that if people have a title in the front of their name, they are automatically respected as someone God has personally called to speak to his people. Some believers are impressed by titles, but the word according to 1 John 4, 1 through 6 says, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to determine if they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses Jesus as the Christ who has come in the flesh is from God, but every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and now is already in the world. You are from God, little children, and have conquered them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak from the world's perspective, and the world listens to them. We are from God, 
the person who knows God listens to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit. Believe me when I say that there are an awful lot of people out there saying this and saying that. It is really up to us who we listen to. We should just keep in mind that the truth will never change and to be sure to listen closely so that we are able to discern whether they are of God or Satan. Let's also think about how we treat our brothers and sisters so as to determine if we are acting in accordance to the teachings of Jesus Christ because we all fall short. Let God do God and let's do us. We should read our Holy Bible so we will be able to arm ourselves with the Word of God and know when we are receiving a message from Him. Pink Queen, out. Yeah, I said it.